overcast and muggy conditions greeted the players on day one at the Swedish Challenge hosted by Robert Carlsen. The third staging of the tournament played at the Katrine Holm Golf Club. As well as hosting the event, home favourite Carlsen is also competing and his day got off to the best possible start with a birdie at the first. However, he couldn't capitalise on that positive start, eventually signing for a three over par 75. One of the shots of the day came from Welshman Rhys Enoch here at the 11th. Enoch recently played at the 147th Open Championship at Carnoustie and he showed why that was the case, using the slopes on the green to perfection. After a tap-in birdie, Enoch would eventually end the day at four under par and he sits just outside the top 10. After a mixed set of results in the 2018 season, Damien Perrier is looking to capitalise on a good start in Sweden. His five under 67 today included an eagle and just one drop shot. The Frenchman is handily placed inside the top five. Another of those to make a good start in Catherine Holm was Perrier's compatriot Robin Roussel. Seven birdies in total for the Frenchman in his opening round of 67. He's comfortably in the hunt heading into day two. One ahead of Roussel is one of the home contingent, Simon Forstrom. Having started the season well, the Swede has not made a cut in his last five events, but will be looking to change that this week, helped by a blemish-free 66 to open his account. Also on that same mark, and another of those to secure a bogey-free round today, Izuga Kusar. The Frenchman is looking for a big week to push himself up the Challenge Tour rankings, and his opening round of six under shows good intent. But leading the way at the Swedish Challenge is Adrian Aus. The Spaniard has been in brilliant form in his inaugural season on the Challenge Tour and his superb bogey-free opening round of 64 was indicative of that. Arnaus will take a two-shot lead going into Friday. Joining Forstrom and Kussar in a tie for second is another home favourite in the form of Michael Lundberg. While a host of names sit a further shot back, including the English pairing of Max Orin and Tom Lewis. Pretty much perfect golfing conditions for the players on day two at the Swedish Challenge hosted by Robert Carlsen. The testing par 72 layout at Katrin Holm Golf Club offered many more opportunities for low scores. Unfortunately, that wasn't to be the case for overnight leader Adrian Aus, as a run of three successive bogeys in the middle of his round saw his lead slip. He ended the day three over par and outside the top 15. However, one of those to make the most of the superb early morning conditions was one of the home favourites, Anton Carlsen. The Swede is looking for a good week in his native country to cement a place inside the top 15 of the rankings. Another of those looking for a boost in the rankings this week is England's Tom Lewis. Lewis opened up with a 5 under 67 on day one and backed that up with a gritty 71 on day two to continue to sit just inside the top 10. Eric Tarja Johansson has started proceedings off well in Katrin Holm and added to his opening 67 with a 70 on day two. A couple of bogeys would put a slight dent on his card, however the Norwegian sees himself at 7 under and can be encouraged by the start he's made. One of the rounds of the day came from Liam Robinson. The Englishman's iron game was on song all day, as emphasised here at the 8th. His five birdies and no drop shots helped him secure a Friday 67 and he sits at seven under par. Robinson will be playing the weekend for only the second time this season. Joining Robinson in the final group on Saturday will be another Englishman, Max Orin. Orin, who was hospitalised on Tuesday, has been in blistering form over the first two days and having recovered well here on the 14th, he found himself with a testing par save at the ninth, his final hole, to maintain a three-shot advantage over the field. Joining Robinson and Johansson in a four-way tie for second are Jack McDonald and Oliver Becker, the latter also firing a five under 67 to shoot up 38 places, while a host of names are in a tie for sixth, including the rankings leader JB Hansen, who recovered well from an early double bogey. Moving day at the Swedish Challenge presented by Robert Carlsen. With glorious conditions in store and with 17 players within four shots of the lead, the drama was bound to be intense. One of those in the hunt overnight was Will Besling and his day started brightly with an eagle at the first. 
However, that was one of a few bright sparks during a frustrating day for the Dutchman. A 1 over 73 sees his title challenge slip. Playing in the final group on Saturday, Liam Robinson was one to look out for on moving day. This glorious approach on the first would show why that was the case. He would convert for Eagle, but costly mistakes at 4, 9, 11 and 18 would put a halt on proceedings. After opening with rounds of 68 and 70, England's Oliver Wilson has flown quietly under the radar at Katrin Holm Golf Club. The former Ryder Cup star made five birdies in his Saturday 69 and was close to another here at the 11th. He ended the day in a tie for third at nine under par. One of those to look out for on Sunday will be the road to Rassel Kamer rankings leader JB Hansen. He showed great touch here at the fifth to save par. He will also be delighted with an eagle birdie finish and the Dane will be looking to make it title number three tomorrow in Sweden. For much of the day the lead was shared by many players and one of those to rise towards the apex was England's Tom Lewis. He got off to a blistering start with four birdies in his first five holes. He only managed to add to that tally though with an eagle at the 17th. However, the Englishman had done enough to be in the final group come Sunday. Joining Lewis in that final group will be the 54-hole leader, Max Orin. Orin fired his way to a pair of 67s over the first two days and backed that up with a patient two under 70 on day three. The Englishman continuing to show the form that has taken him to the top of the leaderboard. And the two times challenge to a winner will now have a chance to add to that tally as he takes a two-shot lead into Sunday. Joining Wilson and Hansen in a tie for third are Victor Perez and Adrian Aus, both of whom shot four under 68s to make their case known on moving day. Whilst a further shot back is Portugal's Pedro Figueiredo, who will be looking to add a second title to his name this season. The final day at the Swedish Challenge presented by Robert Carlson, and with a host of names within touching distance of the title, the drama was bound to be intense, and it didn't disappoint. One of those with a chance at glory was home favourite Michael Lindbergh. After going out in a 5 under 32, it looked like the Swede was mounting a serious challenge. However, four bogeys in his final nine holes put a halt on proceedings and he would end in a tie for six. Playing in the final group on Sunday, England's Tom Lewis was another of those with his eyes on the silverware and he got off to a flying start with two birdies in his first four holes. But the Englishman couldn't maintain that charge and finish in a tie for third. One of the guys to look out for on Sunday was the rankings leader JB Hansen. With two wins already to his name this season, the day knew he had an opportunity to gain promotion to the European Tour with another win here. He would eventually sign for a 4 under 68 and set the clubhouse lead at 13 under par. Starting the day three shots back, England's Oliver Wilson knew he'd have to get off to a fast start to have a chance at the title. And that's exactly what he did, opening his account with a 3 under 34. Further gains would come at the 11th and 16th, and the Englishman needed this putt at the last to join Hansen at 13 under par. Wilson also in at 13 under. As the 54-hole leader, Max Orin headed into the final day in Katrin home in confident mood. He arrived at the fifth, having already added to his overnight lead and missed this opportunity at five to further extend that lead. However, with others making moves around him, Orin's challenge began to tail off and he arrived at 18, needing this birdie putt to force a playoff. Not to be for the Englishman, which meant it was down to Wilson and Hansen. With both men equal to each other at the first extra hole, Hansen needed this par putt to put the pressure on Wilson. An opportunity missed, which gave Wilson a chance at glory. It was job done for the Englishman, securing his first challenge to a title in the process and his first win since lifting the Alfred Dunhill links on the European Tour in 2014. Anton Carlsen's superb Sunday 64 was good enough to see him shoot up 24 places into a tie for third. The Swedes round included a hole in one on the par 3 16th, whilst two other Scandinavians in Christian Kroyer Hansen 
and Calais Samoja shared in a tie for seventh place alongside Portugal's Jose Philip Lima. But it's Wilson who ends victorious at the Swedish Challenge presented by Robert Carlson, and with this win, he moves up to 26th on the road to Rasal Kema rankings. The Challenge Tour now heads to nearby Finland for the Viru Marke finish challenge.